guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am back for an apartment renovation, which honestly, it has been a bit since this has happened. Uh, but I really, really wanted to do an apartment build using some of the new items we got with Seasons. And I wanted to do an industrial apartment because we actually got some pretty cool industrial themed items with the pack, which was kind of surprising to me. Definitely the bathroom set. And I feel like a lot of the items felt with that fit very well with those items as well. And so I just kind of went off of that and used a combination of items, including the new stuff, and had a lot of fun with it. These are base game counters, and I I didn't limit myself as far as packs go. Also, this is in 920 Medina Studios, which I believe is in the fashion district. No, arts court. One of those two. <laughs> I'm so bad at apartments because I don't play a ton in sand my shoe now and when I do I almost always live in the spice district so sorry but it's in 920 Medina studio so I, I know that much anyway we are in the kitchen here and we are adding these beautiful counters I know they're base game but I love them I just don't use them that often because obviously they're a very particular style so you kind of have to be making an industrial build to go ahead and use them I also used a lot of the new plants that came with seasons which I thought was fun as well as the new table that came with seasons and the new couches, and I used them in purple, which I feel kind of weird about because in my very first uh, house I built, which was for my Seasons Let's Play, I also used the purple swatch on those. My problem is I really like the couches, but they come in really bright colors with the exception of a couple of the swatches, and one of those is purple. So I used it again. Uh, hopefully, like, in future couches, we'll get like more that are more versatile and not like, here's these crazy wacky colors if you like that. Because I typically, unless I'm going like, I want a wacky colored room, which is almost never, unless I'm doing like a room build, that's that's kind of the theme of it. I want like more regular styled stuff. I also tried to use that table from Cats and Dogs before I ended up using the table that came with Seasons because I thought it was really nice, but I felt like it didn't fit the look I was going for. Because I really wanted like clean woods and metals mixed together here. And I didn't think, I mean, that, that table was woods and metals. But it was a little bit more rustic than I wanted. Because I was going like more of clean everything. And this is me playing with the couches trying to figure stuff out. Because everything's bright. So I tried to make this rug work for the third time. Still hasn't worked. Uh, I'm tempted to try and find a way to make it work. I think it's going to work if I use the zebra print in a room build of some sort. So maybe... I will come up with some zebra print room build sometime soon, but I'm struggling with that rug. I just want to make it work. But we end up using this rug here that came with Jungle Adventure, which I really like. I also love this coffee table. And I just, so many of the items are just like, here, build an industrial something or other. And I was like, okay, yes, thank you, Sims team. That's exactly what I'm going to do, which is actually really exciting because I feel like lately... A lot of what I've been seeing and a lot of what I've been tempted to do is like seasonal builds, which obviously makes sense because seasons. Uh, but I actually haven't done like a Christmas themed or like a spring themed or anything. I've been tempted to put decorations in a house, but I haven't yet. But tomorrow's build, which I haven't even started at this point, not tomorrow's build, Friday's build. I'm so confused. <laughs> Friday's build will be themed around uh, seasons. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm excited to get started on that. I'll probably work on that after I finish this voiceover. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking about another build in this. But anyway, we're adding a bunch of these paintings from Cats and Dogs in various sizes. I tried to have a lot of fun with like playing with clutter and paintings and textures in this build. And I often, and in this one again, add a lot of storage space using cabinets. As you can see next to the dining room table, there are those really tall cabinets and I end up putting shelving units above it and filling it with clutter. I love doing that in apartments and I really like how that looks in industrial style, having like sort of organized clutter. And we don't have ladders, but I imagined if we did that I would have one against there so you can climb up the ladder to get to the things you need, kind of like they have for loft spaces in industrial apartments, which I would love to do. Oh my gosh. I mean, obviously... Like, not so obviously, but I know I could sort of make it a loft type apartment if I wanted to, because at certain heights, like, if you just raise up the bed, like, your Sims can still get in it. They don't climb anywhere. They just kind of, like, zoom up to the bed, and it looks kind of silly, but if I wanted to do that, I guess I could have. 
I'd like to do that at some point. I know people use that trick a lot in like three by three or three by two or whatever uh, build uh, challenges or I don't know what the challenge is, but the really tiny builds where you have to fit like all of your necessities, like a bed, a toilet, like some way to eat in a very small space. I've seen that trick done a lot. So I know, I know that's an option, but anyway, we're about to work on those uh, shelves, I think, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I skip all over the place in this build. I spend over an hour working on just the living space, like everything other than the bedroom and the bathroom. Bedroom and the bathroom, I don't get to for a very long time because I'm like, no, I want to make this perfect. I want all of these details. I just kept going with adding all kinds of stuff. And I absolutely love this plant that we got with seasons. I think it's one of my favorite new plants. It just kind of like has a weird shadow on it when you size it down or raise it up. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I'm hoping that's something that might be fixed in the future. I know sometimes shadows get fixed and so that'd be nice. Also behind the TV, I tried to make the pattern work there, but it didn't come in the color I wanted. So I ended up getting rid of that, but I love using that as like a decorative piece places. But we ended up using a bunch of signs that came with, I think, either get to work or, um, what's the other one? <laughs> or dine out. I get those two confused with some of the items that come with them because like owning a store and owning a restaurant like had some similar items. Uh, so I'm not sure which one it came with, but I used some of those a little bit later. And I also, of course, filled up these shelves with stuff. I really like adding that suitcase full of books on the bottom of the right hand shelf. I think it looks so cute. I don't know. I just had fun filling up these shelves. I think they're some of my favorite ones in the game because I've been wanting more that look like that. And because the one we had is kind of like sort of an L-shaped bookcase. I end up using it in the bedroom in this build. And I feel like I use it so often that it was nice to have another option here. And also it fit in perfectly in those little spaces that I put on the side of the TV. So I was really happy with how it came out overall. Also, by the way, if you guys would like to download this, as long as the gallery is fixed by now, because I know over the weekend, everyone was having trouble uploading things. And so like, I'm really behind on uploads at the time of recording this. Then it will be on the gallery if you search Griffey or the hashtag Miss Griffey. It will fit perfectly into the 920 Medina Studios apartment. And I've uploaded it as all one room. So it should just place down just fine. It's no multiple uploads, no deleted walls, no nothing. It's it's all one room, but all the walls are there. Kind of confusing, but it should be up and available if you guys would like to download it. We're working more on the kitchen. I used a lot of these accents that have orange in them because it matched the counter so well. And normally I would think something that bright would feel out of place, but it didn't, doesn't to me. Also, I didn't talk about it yet, but that like divider I put up on the counter with plants on it, I imagine that was there so plants could grow on it and give it a little bit of privacy over the windows. Not that you need like a ton of privacy in your kitchen. I just thought it looked really cool and was a nice place for plants to grow. Uh, obviously they're also not really growing, but that was kind of the idea behind it. And here I am messing around with this and I should be deciding on the fencing, not the fencing, the shelving very shortly and picking out this rug, which is a swatch on this rug I've actually never used. I get really excited when I use a new swatch on something because a lot of times I'm like, oh, this doesn't fit for what I'm doing. Uh, so I was excited to use that. We also add a drink tray over here, had to position it just right. I like having things a little bit off. Oh gosh, I always mess this up. Is it off kilter or off kilter? I think it's off kilter. <laughs> but we're adding the fences up there and I also add like the much, they're not fences, they're shelves. I don't know why I keep calling them fences. I also add this plant from Jungle Adventure, which I think looks really pretty out up there hanging off that shelf and then lots of clutter. Oh my gosh, so much clutter. And this took me so long to do, but I had so much fun. I also used a lot of these metal pieces up here. I have them here and then surrounding the window that's separating like the entrance area from the main living space and sized down like some more uh, like electrical stuff and, you know, heating and tubing. And we have like a lot of pipes in this apartment because that's just what I think of when I think of industrial. And I, I just really, really like this apartment. Uh, I love the new paintings we got with Seasons that I have down there. That purple and orange painting is absolutely gorgeous. It has so many pretty swatches and I feel like it's so versatile and I, I'm just always going to use it. I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things that ends up in every single build I ever make or at least like ones that aren't overly traditional because I, I don't think it would work too well in a super traditional home. But as long as it's like more of a modern day family or just a modern house or an industrial apartment or 
you know, there's a lot of reasons to use it and I think it would be really cool. I also added an easel and we end up adding a keyboard as well. I imagined the sim that lives here is pretty artsy uh, and I figured you could choose if you had a sim living here what kind of artsy you wanted, so I made sure to add both of those things in there. And I feel like you don't even have to be super into music to have a keyboard. Keyboards are just kind of fun. <laughs> so this is the bedroom. I messed around with colors in here for a while. I kind of wanted to do blue, but I didn't do blue in the end. I mean, I did, but like I didn't do a blue wall. <laughs> uh, but I used the new bed that came with this pack and uh, I don't feel like it's the most industrial looking bed, but I really, really like it. And I felt like I was able to dress up the rest of the room to kind of fit the style and that it didn't take away from that. So I had fun with that. Of course, we added more shelves and some clutter on them and a nice little industrial clock, which I really, really like. And yeah, the bedroom ends up being pretty simple, but you know, <laughs> also this apartment originally is a two bedroom apartment if you move into 920 Medina Studios. But I really wanted this to be like somebody who has a decent amount of money, maybe is an artist of their own, they can decorate more of their walls with like more of their artwork and have a lot of like entertaining space, but um, only have one bedroom, but you could renovate it and add a second one. If you like <laughs> reduced the size of the living room, I'm sure it would be possible. But I don't know. I like making like one bedroom apartments way more than I like making two bedroom apartments because I like making an apartment like a very cohesive design that is definitely the style of one particular sim instead of making most of it that way. And then maybe one of the bedrooms isn't in that style because that's not the sim who picked out the design of the rest of the apartment. I don't know if that makes sense, but I do want to do more apartment builds because they are so much fun. Uh, but this is the bathroom with the wonderful new shower and sink and toilet. I'm mostly obsessed with the shower and the sink and the bathtub, which I didn't use because it's a small apartment, but they are such beautiful items. And I just, I, I'm blown away. <laughs> I love the shower so very much. And actually on the point of the toilet, it's an okay toilet. I don't have anything against it. I'm not really excited about it. I mean, <laughs> only simmers get excited about toilets. Am I right? But um, I think Deligracy had said something along the lines of like, we don't need any more toilets. <laughs> like we have enough. Uh, can we get some like more counters and stuff? And I agree on that. I love getting counters and we never get them in expansion packs almost ever. I think we got like an island counter and get to work maybe, but like we always get them in game packs. Like the last couple game packs. What, what was the last one before Jungle Adventure? Was it Parenthood? It might've been Parenthood, but I know we got counters in both of those. Anyway, we're in screenshots all of a sudden. So thank you guys so much for watching and like and subscribe if you are new and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.